Hey there, it is weekly check-in time. I thought I heard somebody. Um, I am a day late recording this. <laughs> I've been really busy. I'll fill you in on that. Um, today is September 13th, 2022. So what went well last week and what didn't go quite as planned. Um, what went well for me is my truck got a new engine. The transplant was success successful. Um, I got my coaching and Calm Conflict website up. And coaching is always good. I got to hang out in Zoom with some of my colleagues from Nova Southeastern, so that was nice. Um, I got to sleep in a few days. <laughs> And what didn't go well is the whole car rental experience was a nightmare. Um, and my work timeline was pushed back because of all of like the car stuff and, you know, coordinating rides and yeah. I didn't get as much work done as I wanted to, but I still got done what I needed to. Um, so what three things will get your time, energy, and attention this week? Um, top, top, top priority for me is the ACR conference, um, Association for Conflict Resolution. I am doing two presentations at it. It starts tomorrow. <laughs> so I have been, um, prepping for that, getting a lot of extra bonus material for the website and people that are interested in my topic. Um, obviously presenting at it and attending different conference sessions um, and networking with you know like-minded people that have similar interests in conflict and mediation and um, like really holistic self-care practices that take care of both the mind and the body um, so self-care extra peopling this week <laughs> I love conferences but they do um, tend to drain my energy <laughs> and always working on my website um, what would you like your relationship with technology to look like this week for me it's a tool to help me reach my goals and connect with others there's a spider crawling on my camera. So if you see like a weird thing go across, go across the um, thing, that's it. Um, and since I'll be getting a lot of screen time this week, I need to be very intentional about having like no screen time at all. Like here in nature. <laughs> um, What's a habit or routine you would like to give more attention to this week? Um, so definitely movement, because I have not been moving as much, um, especially since I've spent a lot of time indoors prepping for this particular <laughs> conference this week. Um, and I was homebound while my truck was getting worked on. So here I am, <laughs> check in nature. And what is the busiest part of your week? And what is the quietest part of your week? And how does that impact your planning? Um, so for me, like I'm attending a conference for three days so that they'll be like jam packed, very busy, a lot of interaction with people. Um, I've been doing a lot of work yesterday and today and the weekend, I am going to be very intentional about taking time off. <laughs> um, what is your ratio of solitude to um, social time this week? And what adjustments do you want to make? So, as I already mentioned, like a conference means a lot of people, a lot of peopling. Um, so I am like already I'm planning on doing a, a lot of nothing by myself this weekend. <laughs> um, what can you build in time for 
where where can you build in time for a reflection this week and what does it look like for you so journaling in the morning and in the evening um, really helps me to decompress and calm my mind I have ants crawling on me um, interstitial journaling throughout the day if if I need it and definitely getting some downtime in nature um, even if it's something like right now I'm gonna walk around for 15 minutes and then go pick up my curbside pickup at Target <laughs> you know so something I highly recommend that I do all the time is if I leave the house I try to make a point to stop at a park somewhere even if it's for like five or ten minutes because that's really all you need so that is it I am sitting lakeside which I don't know if you can see the water lilies behind me or not but um, yeah that's it so look forward to a lot more content coming out from me my conference presentation is on how coaching with neuroscience and self-care can help prevent and reduce conflict the second presentation I'm presenting on is peer mediation tournaments for high school and middle school students um, and just the benefits of peer mediation where like students help mediate student conflicts um, that's it so the coaching website is up it's all good to go um, I do coaching for individuals coaching for professionals and um, you can get on the wait list for my calm conflicts program so if you're interested in that go to traumainformedsolutions.com slash coaching all right Take care. I hope you have a great week.